Hey friends, Emily, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are doing another randomizer chooses my puzzle video. I love doing these when I'm having a hard time deciding which puzzle to do next and that is definitely the case right now. So I have all of my puzzles in this random name picker and I have everything up for grabs from 100 pieces to 6,000 pieces. We have 113 things in here, which I am pretty proud of because I've been really working on trying to get my to-do list under 100 and I feel like it's it's possible. Depending on what is chosen, I may do multiple puzzles in this video. I really have no idea what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna start the screen recording and we're gonna decide which puzzle I'm going to be doing today. So let's just, Let's just do it. All right, so I have the picker up. We're just gonna hit spin and see what happens. Ah, okay, let's see. It is, no way! It is actually a vintage puzzle. Let me just go get it, hold on. I'm so excited to pick this one. It's only 304 pieces, so definitely think I'm going to do multiple puzzles in this video. But this one is from the brand Guild. It is a picture puzzle, so I'm assuming it's going to have some more paperboard puzzle pieces, similar to the Perfect Picture Company that I've done before. Um, this one is called, this one is called The Auction, and I think this one is going to be super fun. Lots of color, more color than I've done in previous vintage puzzles. I really don't know too much about this. Um, there's really not too much information on the back besides someone wrote their name. I got this one thrifted. No idea if I had all the pieces, but we're just gonna try it today. And I'm excited this one was the chosen one. So let's just get into this. All right, so this is what mine looks like. I got it again thrifted for $5.99 at Savers, 304 pieces. While I'm doing the puzzle, I'll give you a little bit more of like information I find, but really have no idea what this one is all about. But let's just open up the box and see what happens. Whoa, they're bigger. So it is, I think cardboard, it definitely feels different than the other ones I've done where it's more like that paper board. I'm not 100% sure, but it does look like layers. So I'm having a feeling it's cardboard puzzles, which seems a lot more secure, a lot more like jigsaw that we know of now. But I love the pieces, they're so chunky and thick. This is going to be awesome. I hope all the pieces are here, but I'm not holding my breath, but let's just get into this. So I'm wondering while looking at this if the image is cropped, at least on the edges, because I have some snowy pits um, that are definitely not on the box. So that's something to take into account. Like there's definitely like an edge of, of snow. Um, and there are some crazy wonky pieces. So I'm assuming just the image on the box is cropped, but that's fine. Um, but look at there's definitely a secure fit. This actually feels really nice. I'm so excited for this. Oh, it's not snow. <laughs> well, there is like a little bit of snow on the tree, but I think it's just sky. There's a sky bit that's missing in the picture. I gotcha, I gotcha, okay. I don't know why I thought it was snow, but here we are. So as you're watching me complete this puzzle, I want to give you a little bit of history on this brand. So Guild is a small brand under Whitman Publishing Company, which has been in production since 1932. And it's really known more in like the coin collecting world. But between 1934 and 1970, they had a artist, Richard Yeoman, who specialized in children's books, greeting cards, and puzzles. So from what I gather, this puzzle was created around the 1960s. So it does have cardboard versus the paper board, which I've done in previous vintage puzzles because it is a little bit later um, and also why the coloring is a lot brighter. And as far as this puzzle goes, I really enjoyed it. I love the image. It was very bright, very colorful, and the pieces were very thick and chunky. 
a lot of them didn't connect all the way so there was a lot of like loose ends but there were some spots that were a complete fit and so those ones had a really snug fit but then also there was a lot of like moving things around together because you could tell the way that it was cut that it had to like move in between pieces so you would never be able to do like a pickup challenge or anything like that and it can be a little frustrating when you like bump the table or like bump a piece because then that may mean that like 20 pieces become out of place but I really enjoy this one I'm just gonna let you off here but I thought it was fun and definitely something I would look into more I definitely liked it more than the previous vintage ones that I've done but I think it's just because it's a little bit newer and the colors were a lot brighter Alright, so we have an Oliver here. It's a couple days later and can I just say how much fun that first puzzle was. I'm really happy that I was able to do it. It was way better than I was expecting it was going to be. And I thought tonight I would start the next puzzle. So let's just do a randomizer again. I still have it up from the previous day and I'm just going to flip you around and we'll see what puzzle I'm going to do. All right, so it's still exactly where it's been at. I'm just gonna click spin, and we're gonna see what the next one is. Ooh! She even just put that one away when I was cleaning the puzzle room. This is brand new. Like I got it maybe a week ago, maybe two weeks, but it's an Amy Stewart. And this is one for the total eclipse, which is really funny for me because we were nowhere near the path of totality. We are in Washington. So um, this one is going to be so fun. I love the image. So let's get started with this guy. All right, so here we have the puzzle. And can we just say how much fun this one looks? It looks like it's going to be kind of tricky, not gonna lie, because it is just a crazy collage and there are like bigger things to work with. Like we have this Buffalo New York flag. We have this little map over here and we have this little card here. So there's definitely things to work from. It's kind of crazy chaotic. So it might be more of like a chaotic method of puzzling. And I also want to mention, I'm using these guys here, which are the sorting trays for my puzzle board. And they're not my favorite. So this is something I'm looking into getting something different. My ones for my puzzle table are a little bit better, but I feel like they're showing a lot of signs of wear right now. So I've been using these guys and I like how big they are, but I don't like that they have these latches. So I'm trying to figure out like how to remove the latches, but also I think I want to invest in something different. So just, just, that's just a conversation for another day. But I, I know some of you have used like cafeteria trays or cookie sheets. I want to find something that's like really nice you know just because I do do it for filming but I want something nice it's like going to last a long time because they do get so much use um so that's just my thoughts on these anyways we're just gonna get into the puzzle I am using just the foam board today because I am most likely going to be filming tomorrow a different video and I just want to make sure I can clear this off really quickly so let's give this a, a go It's been a very long time since I've actually done a new Buffalo Games and ooh, that is stuck. I need a knife. Now it has been a long time since I've done a brand new Buffalo Games puzzle. And can I just say how much trouble I've had opening up the box? There was such thick glue there that even with the knife, it was hard to get through. So I ended up using the scoop that I have to kind of break through and it kind of destroyed the inside of the box. So it wasn't my favorite, but I did enjoy the puzzle in the end. I just, I wish they did like just stickers or something that would make it a little bit easier to open up.
prefer my first sort and just doing the edges and then that green buffalo sign so I really didn't do too much as far as sorting even going forward I think these are the only things I sorted throughout the whole entire thing and then afterwards I just did like complete chaos method just to grab 20 to 30 pieces and just put it in its relative place because everything kind of has a spot it's really hard to find something that's like you don't quite know where it is like if you look at the image you'll clearly see where it's supposed to go so I did end up really enjoying this puzzle. It was pretty speedy. It took me in total four hours. So that's my thoughts on this one. I let you go off here just because I need to save my voice right now. I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's going. All right, well, my camera is about to die, so I need to stop recording, but I wanted to show you where I'm at. I have the border done. I have that buffalo flag and then I think after this there's a few things that I could get definitely go off of so I'll show you what it's looking like but we'll have to get back to it tomorrow. All right so we have most of the border but of course in classic Emily fashion I am missing a couple pieces and then we have this buffalo flag um, so really not too much done but I have a feeling this one's gonna go pretty quickly. I really enjoyed it. I feel like I went pretty quickly. I just did complete randomness and I liked it a lot. Um, so now I'm going to flip you around and just do one more puzzle for this video. Hopefully it's a smaller piece. I haven't been feeling my best the past couple days. So um, I'm like, fingers crossed it's like 500 pieces because that's that's what I can handle right now. So I'm just gonna flip you around. Um, I did lose the original list because I had to restart my computer. So we're just gonna redo this. but. But I'm going to just flip you around and we'll see which puzzle I'm going to be doing. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so this is what this one looks like. Very fun and festive. As always, I'm very curious to see what the figurine pieces are. And just so you know, this is one that I actually purchased when I bought the 
little tray. So I'm going to be doing this one today and I'm so excited. I will be doing it on the tray because I'll probably use it for photos for the 4th of July. Um, so I'm excited for this one. Um, I'll probably put the pieces over here and then work onto the tray. So that's my plan. Um, but this one looks so much fun. Oh my God. This just made me so happy. So I just don't have the pieces and the first whimsy that I see, it's a little saxophone player, which if you are new here, I play the saxophone. So this is like perfect and it just, it just made me so happy. Um, but my voice is going, so I'm going to, um, just puzzle this one, but there's like a little snack cart. There's a hamburger. I'm so excited to see the rest of the whimsies. This is just going to be super fun. Um, yeah. Anyways, we're just going to get into this. All right, here is the pieces all together. Um, just really bright, colorful. And I thought I would show you all the figurines. So we have like a lot of different cars for the parade. We have the band conductor, I'm guessing. I'm not quite sure. We have the hamburger, a couple of little carts. Of course, we have the Wentworth tree, another little truck. I love, I love this piece so much because my parents own an ice cream boat. So I'm like, want to send a picture of that. I have a hot dog, baseball, the American flag. Love this guy. It has to be my favorite piece like I've ever had. All right, and then moving on to my final puzzle, I decided to do this one a little bit differently. Usually when I do a Wentworth, I usually put in the figurine pieces at the very end, but this time around I thought I would try to keep them in their relative spot, so I actually started with the figurine pieces and then kind of worked around them, and that was kind of like a fun little challenge. And it helped, I think, ease, make it easier because you could see the piece shape, but this one took me 50 minutes, so it was nice, quick, easy, nice in front of the TV, and I really like the image a lot, lots to work from, love the little figurines, and really don't have anything negative to say about this one. Alright, so I think this was a very successful randomizer to my puzzle video. I feel like it was very different, like each puzzle was really unique. We have one that was brand new. This one is a new release from Buffalo Games by Amy Stewart and I really liked it. I haven't done too many Amy Stewart puzzles in the past and I know some people like that's their ride or die artist and I can see why. It's super fun. It is more collage style which is usually my go-to preference by just it was fun. I liked it. There was a lot of stuff to work with. I did do complete randomness, but you know, I didn't mind it too much. It was really fun. It didn't take me too long. I don't know the exact time, but I'll make sure to put like time information on the screen or down in the comments. Um, this one here was also really fun. Very surprising that the quality was as good as it was. I love the chunky pieces that was there. Um, this was definitely a good find. I would love to see other images that they carry. This one I think was super fun. Love the coloring and the image and it was a really good time. Definitely seems like it's newer than the other ones that I've done. And then we have the Wentworth. This was a super fun find as well. Also newer to me. I just put it in a haul video and I like this one. There was so much stuff to work with. Pretty quick and easy. Of course I started with the sky and then moved on to other things but I love the whimsy pieces of this one and I think they're just super fun. Anyways I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this style of thing of like a randomizer or some other element choosing my puzzles I have a whole playlist now so I'll link that down below. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. If you are new here I'd love if you subscribed and stuck around. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you aren't already and that's it for me. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye guys!